AT2065. Chemical Action in Battery. A lead acid cell works in a simple principle. When two different metals are put in acid solution, a chemical reaction will occur and creates electrical pressure. These two metals are lead dioxide and sponge lead. Discharging occurs when conductor and load are connected between two metals, allowing the current to flow. The flow of current will continue until the metals on the plates become alike, an acid on the solution is used up. Charging occurs when current is sent in the opposite direction of the cells. Charging continues until the materials of the cell are restored to their original condition. How batteries work? The batteries have four stages. They are 1. Fully charged 2. Discharging 3. Fully discharged 4. Charging Fully charged When fully charged, the conditions of the battery are Positive plate is covered with lead oxide Negative plate is covered with sponge lead PB. The electrolyte contains sulfuric acid in water. Discharging. When discharging, current flows from negative to positive plates. On this process, the electrolyte separates into hydrogen H2 and sulfate SO4. The free sulfate combines with the lead and becomes lead sulfate. The free hydrogen and oxygen combine to form more water, which dilutes the electrolyte. Fully discharged. When fully discharged, both plates are fully sulfated. While the electrolyte is diluted to mostly water. Charging. When charging, the SO4 leaves the positive and negative plates, and it combines with hydrogen to become sulfuric acid. Hydrogen bubbles form at the negative plates, and oxygen appears at the positive plates. Charging reverses the chemical reaction that occurs during discharging. Battery Capacity Ratings Automotive battery must be able to crank the engine for starting and should have enough reserve capacity to operate vehicle system once the engine starts. Battery Capacity is the amount of electrical energy the battery can deliver when fully charged. It is determined by the size and number of plates and volume and strength of electrolyte. The most commonly used battery ratings are cranking amperes CA rating, cold cranking amperes CCA, reserve capacity RC, ampere hours AH, power watts, cranking amperes. This is the ability of battery to deliver a cranking current at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. This the same CCA rating except it is calculated at higher temperature. Cold cranking amperes CCA rating. This rating indicates the ability of a battery to deliver a specific current at low temperature. The CCA rating specifies the discharge current of a fully charged battery can deliver at zero degree Fahrenheit for 30 seconds while maintaining at least 7.2 volts. Reserve Capacity RC Rating This rating is the time in minutes a vehicle can be driven to provide reserve energy for ignition system and for lights and accessories when charging system fails. RC Rating measures the amount of time a fully charged battery falls below 10.5 volts. This should occur with a temperature of 80 degree Fahrenheit 26.7 degrees Celsius and supply of 25 amperes. Ampere Hour The Ampere Hour rating is the amount of current 
a fully charged battery can supply for 20 hours, without having to fall below. 10.5 volts at a temperature of 80 degree Fahrenheit 26.7 degrees Celsius. If a battery can deliver 4 ampere, under these conditions, it has 80 ampere hour rating. 4 amperes, times, 20 hours, equals 80 amperes per hour. This brings us to the end of this topic.